Hey there, my name is Tartip and in this video I will showcase you some mods, some quality of life mods specifically, that don't add anything to the game, but they highly improve the gameplay. So the first two mods that I want to talk to you about are the Higher Cyber mod, made by Mark Moss, and the Lopi's Better Info mod, made by Lopidov. The first mod is very simple, it will increase the max height the box on the bottom left can take. So when you see a lot of info, for example, when you go to the Humble Beginnings pack, you can see that not all of the information is displayed at once. However, this mod will increase the box size so that you can see everything at once, which is really really nice. And the other mod just gives you more info. For example, when you go to this red, you just see a description, how much health it has, how much combat level it has. And when you go to the humble beginnings pack, you don't see what chance you have to get a certain item. But when we turn those mods on, then you can see that you can see all of the information of the humble beginning packs in one go. And you can also see the percentages of the chance that you get a certain thing. Same for the red, it gives you extra information. And because we have the higher sidebar mod, it will show all of that information at once. And now you can see it there. the attack speed of the red, the hit chance, the damage, the defense, and what it can drop. And if you haven't discovered something yet, it will not spoil that for you. And that's also what I really like about that mod. So if you're not planning on modding anything, those two mods are quite necessary, I think, for everyone. Even if you just want to play plain vanilla Staggerlands. Lopidov has made another mod, and it's called the Lopi's Better Saves mod. It's just really handy to have this one, because this makes it that you can have more than five saves in total, and that you can even rename your saves. So this save that we're playing on right now, I changed the name to Showcase of Mods. And you can even copy your saves. So this is just quality of life, you can do a lot more things here you can have a lot more saves this is one you must have if you plan on just trying stuff out in other saves or just having a lot of runs right the next mod that i want to talk to you about is the show idol villager mod this mod is made by nbk get spy and it just says what it does if your village is not doing anything it just show this around it so you know that you can move it around and put it on something and when you put it on something the surrounding red lines will be gone so this is very nice if you just keep forgetting to put your villagers on buildings the next mod is the better mouse controls mod it's made by one fader and this is a really nice mod. For example, when your stuff is laying around like this, you can double click the stone and all of the stones that are close to each other will go together. Same for the wood. And if you put all of these trees away and then double click on this tree, all of these trees will go together. So that is incredibly handy. So if you buy a lot of packs and you made a big mess, you can clean it up more easily by just double clicking. And normally when you want to move a whole stack, you need to grab the bottom card. But this mod makes it that you can hold right click and you can just grab the top card and move the whole stack around. Be warned about the double click though when you automate things, because when you automate things then you often use a lot of cranes and those need to be at exact locations and when you double click one of those cranes they will all be combined together it can be quite annoying and those are some of the most important things that don't change the game that much they just make it nicer and now i will show you some quality of life mods that change the game a little bit the first one is the start of two villages mod normally you get your second villager after buying a few packs but this mod gives you an extra villager right away and that makes your game probably a lot faster if you like to play that way and it's made by this person the next mod that i want to talk to you about is the stack further mod also made by nbk you got spy and it's very simple again it allows your cards to automatically stack further away normally when you have a stack like this and apples like here and you get an apple like this it won't go here but then we turn the mod on so now i turn the mod on and you can see that it indeed goes here and i'm curious to how far it will go what if you place it like this it won't do that. I think the mod said it doubled the distance, so it's just in case of these that you will still go here. And that's pretty nice. The next mod that I want to talk to you about is the Lopi's Foil Folder mod. It's made by Lopidov, and here you can see that we indeed have it. And when you press this thing, you can see that we haven't found any foils yet, because we've just installed this thing, of course. But when we get one of these, you can see them right here. So this way you can keep track of which foils you have found in a very simple folder. The next one is called the Extra Search mod, and it's made by Brownbull. And this is a very nice mod I just discovered this one and you go to the idea tab and you press right click on this wood for example you can see every building and thing that you can make with that wood which is just amazing same for this stone you can immediately see what you can make with it same for this raw meat you can see what you can make with that i think it works in most cases because i don't think you can make a chicken from a raw meat but it is cool that you can think like okay i have a raw meat right now what can i make with that with the ideas i've discovered so far and you can now see that you can make a cooked meat or a fried meat or a stew or that you can make a butchery so that's amazing i like this one and the last one that i want to talk to you about is the Lopi's Conflict Rose mod, also made by Lopidov. It's very nice because when you put villages into battle, they will just stack like this, but eventually what this mod does is that they go to the back, which is extremely handy because sometimes when you have a lot of villages or a lot of enemies, it can just be a big horizontal thing through your whole map. Our board is very big right now, but you can imagine if your board is smaller, that can really mess your board up. But this will prevent that and it will just make it nicer to look at. And everything 
every single one of your villages is in combat, of course. It's also more manageable because if your village is all the way over here and it attacks the enemy here, you don't get to see that at all. And this mod makes it that you can see that. It's a good one. And the last one that I want to showcase you is a pack explosion mod. It's exactly what you think it is. It's made by Arsonist and this is exactly what it does. It is extremely satisfying. So you don't need that one, but it is really nice. And together with the other ones, you can double click to grab all the berry bushes, all the rocks, all the woods, all of the stones, all of the soils, but it's only one, all of the trees. And that way you have organized a lot of things. All the mods are in the description down below. If you think that we've missed a mod that's also really good, please let other people know down in the comments. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please leave a like and I will see you in another video. Bye.